Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to uh, another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. If you are uh, brand new to the channel or are visiting us uh, for the first time, uh, please like, subscri subscribe, and share. Uh, come aboard this whole mess that we have on uh, unadulterated, uh, unbiased view of technical analysis and our place in it. So let's talk about the market. So we've been on this uh, magical euphoric run uh, we talked about yesterday a lot of names. I uh, just got a little bit tired. Uh, for example, NVIDIA uh, was definitely one of the names we were watching yesterday just because it put this inverted hammer. Uh, we talked about this last night in the video. Again, if you are brand new uh, to technical analysis, like we keep on reiterating the point, start with the basics, right? A hammer is bullish, right? So if you look at the bottom of the channel here, here is a bottom channel hammer of NVIDIA that's bullish. And an inverted hammer is bearish, and today was uh, a, you know pretty much a gravity reality check for Nvidia. The same thing with uh, AMD, and same thing with a lot of names. Just but just like every day uh, that we see uh, the market gets its footing, uh, obviously the big story uh, that's going to be uh, going out throughout the, this whole evening is the whole debt ceiling uh, vote. Obviously, they came with a preliminary agreement. Uh, over the weekend, and now the bill is going to Congress, right? The bill is going to Congress. Uh, let's see, the last report here, debt ceiling bill advances to the final House vote uh, after McCarthy gets help for the Democrats. It should get done. Obviously, uh, by tomorrow, we're going to have uh, a lot more uh, headlines, a lot more details of what happened in this vote, what the details are, what the ramifications, and what stocks uh, should be good and stocks should be bad. Uh, bad. But for tonight, it's all about earnings, right? We saw a big mix bag today on a lot of uh, technology names. Uh, CRM, uh, you know, came out on a little bit of a light quarter. The initial reaction was up and then it was down. Now it's pretty much flat. Uh, crowdsource is uh, getting beat up a little bit after the close. Uh, stocks down about 10%. You got Chewy, which is an awesome, awesome product. A uh, company I order for my doggies, uh, for my doggie. Uh, once a month, and OKTA, uh, OKTA is going on the other side of the spectrum down 12%. But the, the the stock that everybody is watching, including myself, is definitely AI. And it's not that AI is the leader of this whole AI movement. Uh, this right now is representing euphoria. It's representing speculation money. It's representing all that's good and aggressive in this market right now. And obviously, when you're going to look back at history, the physical company AI with the coolest initials in the world, right? They're not going to be a factor. It's obviously going to be Microsoft, uh, AMD, uh, NVIDIA, Google, Apple is going to play a big part and everybody else under the sun. But this one right now is going to be very, very important. And I believe like right now, uh, the stock is down about six bucks after the close. Uh, it hasn't come out with earnings just yet. There's been really, really big buyers that come into this uh, space in the last couple of days. Uh, notably, yesterday, somebody bet a million dollars for short-term uh, $50 calls. Uh, we saw this morning and this afternoon for the 55s. We even saw the 65s. So I'm very, very curious to see what happens uh, after they come out with earnings. And if this market really, truly is this next level euphoria.com uh, type of scenario, I don't think whatever they say uh, is going to be as important as the reaction to it. So by the time you see this video, let's see if uh, they uh, come back, right? They come back and take this AI over back over 40 bucks uh, to show that the speculation market is still aggressive. The euphoria chasers are still uh, present and the bull market, the bull aggressive runaway train uh, is still very, very uh, active. On the individual fronts, let's talk about Tesla, right? Let's talk about Tesla really, really quickly. Uh, as we saw yesterday, as we talked about yesterday, Tesla is getting very, very close. This is definitely one of the names 
that held uh, you know, the sell-off today. Not that there was a big sell-off. The Dow, uh, Dow was down, the Nasdaq was down about 80, 85 points, at most about 100 and change. But what I like what we saw about Tesla today, it didn't quite get down to the five-day moving average, but it's, it held up very, very well. And not only did it hold up very, very well, look at this really aggressive candle into the close. Granted, there was a lot of rebalancing uh, going on into the close, but this is so close, guys. Keep this on. This is so close to the top of the range. And the cool part, what we saw today in the options market, they weren't just even coming for the 200s, 205 weeklies. They were coming for the 250s, the 240s, with like two weeks out of, 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 uh, of expiration. So it really does show you how important this base is. So keep an eye on this thing, guys. If this thing can get above this channel finally in the next couple of days, hopefully tomorrow, I think well, you know, it's going to be all airspace. And the way they're betting, right, the way they're betting in the options market, they've, for some reason, skipped the 205s and the 210s and the 215s. They're literally going after the 220s, 240s, and the 250 calls. So it's going to be very, very interesting uh, to see. The, the couple of plays that I definitely, definitely want to watch tomorrow also on the short side in case the numbers on AI are bad. Because keep this in mind, they, they still have not reported their earnings. They're reporting in about... Uh, 15 minutes at five o'clock Eastern time. But keep this in mind, they're also going to affect Microsoft, right? Microsoft, uh, AMD, and NVIDIA, and Google, right? That's, that's And Microsoft as well. I think I said Microsoft as well. In case the number is bad, guys, let's watch NVIDIA for tomorrow, right? Let's keep an eye on this thing. If it loses the bottom channel, specifically the channel from um, May the 26th, I think there's a shot this thing gets down to the five-day moving average. As we discussed on last night's video, uh, this thing had an inverted hammer confirmed today. Caught a piece of this move down, not a big one. I, again, I didn't anticipate uh, a $22 move on the video, but it is what it is. Uh, still a pretty decent move there. Uh, but again, we want to definitely be prepared on both sides of the market. Uh, let me give you guys some uh, some ideas for tomorrow. Uh, obviously, again, we're still watching to see what happens here uh, with AI, but. It's all contingent, you know, it's all contingent of what it's going to do as well. So let's talk about some ideas. Uh, Google, right? Uh, take a look at Google, just in case the market continue, continues to pull. You see how many times Google held the bottom of the range here? It's held the 10-day moving average four times in a row, four days in a row. If it starts losing back the 10-day moving average, I think there's a shot it gets back to the bottom range, depending how strong or weak the market is. Obviously, everything is contingent upon uh, confirmation. We, we don't anticipate uh, we don't guess. We're waiting for that confirmation. So I'm definitely, definitely uh, watching Google to the downside. AMD in the video we just talked about as well. Roblox, I've been talking about three days. And guess what? Your schmuck boy over here decided not to buy Roblox today after talking about it for four days uh, after the 50-day moving average because I thought that the move is going to come tomorrow. Well, it came today. First close over the 50-day moving average. They started coming to the $44, $45 weeklies. Uh, keep an eye, guys. Keep an eye on Roblox for tomorrow. If it starts taking out this top of the range here, maybe this thing could start stretching. It looks you know, pretty, pretty good. Uh, Path, really nice looking chart. Uh, again, in the AI space, broke out today. We started talking about it a couple of days ago. Broke out today, got above this top of the range. All it needs to do is now confirm this whole entire cycle uh, from the February highs, and this thing could start expanding as well. Obviously, if AI comes out with good earnings, it's only going to help it. Uh, and let me give you guys a couple of more names that I'm watching. Tesla, obviously. Uh, Roku, right? Let's keep an eye on Roku as well. Again, it, it looks similar to Roblox. Not that, not exactly, but it looks similar. It's, it's digesting underneath the 50-day supply. If Roku could get above this 50-day supply, I think it could stretch out as well. Other than that, you know, th there's nothing to really write home about, about the indexes. You've got the spies back tested today, the five 10-day moving average and held. Uh, you have the queues today basically just taking a rest, uh, taking a rest. Again, if, if, you know, if, the, if the market pulls in one more day, is it possible we get down to the five-day moving average? Sure, absolutely. Again, gravity is real. We saw kind of this exhaustion cycle take place two weeks ago. So why can't we have exactly the same thing uh, happening tomorrow? Again, hence in point that we want to make sure that we are prepared on both sides of the market. Other than that, guys, today is the last day of May. Hopefully everybody had a great May. And the old adage, say it, sell in May and go away, apparently this schmuck and the rest of our schmucks didn't get the message because, again, May was pretty damn aggressive. Guys, God bless. Hope everybody had a great trading day. Hope everybody is prepared for tomorrow. And with God's help, I'll see you all on the video. Take care.